everyone welcome back to another counter side video so today we will be talking about edel maitner she actually just dropped today during the update so let's take a look at her now so in terms of edel maitner actually i find her her look very classy classic actually but also a bit scary because of those tentacles so let's take a look at her profile Edel Maitner is a sniper who commands strange beings residing in her shadow to inflict AOE damage. Her strange familiars are especially powerful against soldiers and corrupted objects. So, okay, so she is a SSR counter. So ESPR, her deployment cost is actually four. Again, she's a sniper. She's a ground type and also she attacks ground. Okay, so let's take a look at her stats. So her combat power is 10,362. Her HP is 25,424, which is below average. Attack is 427, which is above average. Defense is 338, which is low. Crit is 728, which is above average. Hit, which is 512, which is also below average. And last is her evasion is 128 and is low because she is a sniper so let's take a look at her skills so for edel meitner's skill info um in terms of her skills she is actually built again as a sniper far away basic skill but she has three valid hits summons a mysterious creature this creature slowly moves forward and then inflicts aoe damage on contact with the first enemy in its path so it crawls actually in the floor and hits the first enemy in the front this is good because this is an aoe so if there are three of them then he hits all three of them so basic attack levels three uh, two three four and five so it's a plus 20 all in all once you go to level five next is her passive skill the call of the unknown so summons the mysterious beings and inflicts 40% or more damage on corrupted objects and soldiers. All her attack debuffs um, targets for 12 turns. So all of her attacks, so that includes basic, special skill, and also her ultimate skill. And once the debuff targets summon some and debuff targets summon up to five creatures in their place upon death. So Anybody who kills um, enemies that are debuffed, a creature is put into their place, which is actually a good, very, very good passive skill. Again, um, this is, she is a combination of a sniper plus also a, a summoner in a way. So let for her passive skill, level one is uh, damage to soldier and CO, which is 10. Level three is 10 and level four damage to soldier and CO is plus 20. For a total damage of 40%. Okay, so more or less, um, that is plus 40. So, and your 40, so that's 80% all in all. Her level 5 is um, her summon links damage taken minus 40 from soldiers and CO. Okay, so CO is actually corrupted objects. So, more or less, they deal a lot of damage and they receive less damage. Moving on to her special skill, so it's called Black Lotus. 30 second cooldown and valid hits is 3. Summons a massive gaping mouth inflicting AoE damage on and around the furthest target with range, within range. Also cancels barrier around enemies to inflict damage. This is actually what I like about her kit, her special skill. Because again, if you try to bring her in PvP, she can actually be one of the the what the one of the one of your units that can clear the back line and this is very important right now because the back line if you don't penetrate penetrate through especially for pvp you will be you know you'll be consumed by them and it will be just a matter of time before you're defeated by the back line of your enemies so again by this skill and i'm excited to build her currently for pvp but i'm sure she'll be more you know uh, valuable in pve but her level two three four and f two three and four 
are a plus 25 percent to damage and her level five is cooldown minus four seconds which will bring her um, cooldown to 26 seconds for her special skill lastly is her ultimate skill so unspeakable one it has a cooldown of 65 seconds valid hits is four so releasing inner beings inflicting aoe damage on enemies in the front the enemies lose 30 percent of hit for 12 seconds two three four levels is a plus damage 25 percent and level five is a debuff also decrease enemies evasion by 30 percent okay so let's take a look at her gear okay so here we are um i was able to summon uh edel earlier um it took me <laughs> i don't want to brag about it but it, it took me i three single pulls so on the third pull i got her so i stopped uh summoning so more or less i'm happy <laughs> by, by saving a lot of employment contracts but in terms of her gear there are only two options for her in terms of her um set options set option you may go with either attack speed or um pull down attack speed because number one her attack is actually above average and her crit is also above average that is why you can you can more or less um increase her attack speed in deal damage deal damage as quick as possible or the other option is you make sure that her cooldowns are faster so that she could put out her special skill and ultimate skill as often as possible so but for me i'm building her now for pvp so i'm concentrating on building her with cooldown or decrease in cooldown okay for her gear options you actually um you actually have the option of bringing in damage reduction of any kind hp to increase your survivability especially if you're going to bring her in pvp and also um attack um gear option would be good as well okay while we're here we're going to deploy a couple of ais for the ground so that you can see um how she interacts with her skills so as a sniper usually you you you, you would uh, deploy her in the back so again if you can see her her basic skill let's 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 uh reset the enemy first so that you can see how her attack travels so again her attack travels down there then once the enemy is defeated she summons a creature to fight in her behalf so again very very cool sniper and also a very cool summoner and let's take a look at let's let's actually summon a, a ground unit again so that we can more or less if you saw that by, by the way so that is her her special skill so a a mouth comes up and attacks the 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 back end or the furthest furthest enemy um in the field so again it's good for the back line for pvp and again her animations are very good so let's try to take a look at her ultimate right now so for her ultimate there you go massive aoe damage very very nice and i think she's going to be good in both pve and pvp so more or less for 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 pve i think she's going to be the queen of pve but for pvp for now while we don't have that much of um, units available i think she's going to shine as well in pvp just because we need more we need more backline uh what they call this backline destroyers so more or less she is actually worth it for both pve and pvp okay so my final thoughts for edel she is actually a very good sniper summoner whatever you call her she'll excel tremendously in pve and she will help you in pvp for now okay while we don't have the other units that have been out in the korean server and she does increase damage for soldiers and for corrupted um beings or things so again she will be top tier in pve i guess guys if you you know if you happen to have employment contracts please do pull for her she's going to be important down the line and please don't miss her 
because again she will be helping you now and she will be a gem also in the future so she is worth pulling for okay guys for those of you who have stopped this far in this video please consider subscribing and also click that bell icon so, don't, so that you don't miss any counter side, uh, counter side videos that I put out. And also, please put your comments below. Um, what do you think of her? Will she? Will you pull for her? Will she be one of your go-to units in PvP and PvE? Take care, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.